Here now to discuss this bizarre move from one of the biggest cartels in Mexico. He's the former director of special operations at the DEA, our good friend, Derek Maltz, who's been at the forefront of fighting the opioid and fentanyl crisis, killing our young Americans. Derek, what do you make of this? Is this a ploy or are they for real? I mean, you and I have talked about this over the last two, three years ever since Biden took over, about how much money the cartel's been making on fentanyl. But then we also discussed why would they continue to do it because a little grain of the stuff concentrated can kill somebody, and why would you want to kill your clients? Now it seems they are backtracking. Is this for real? Well, Dan, a couple things. Number one, the cartels are operating with impunity. They're flooding our country with fentanyl like we've never seen. Kids are dying at record levels. It's all about the money. They're making so much money because synthetic drugs have changed the game. In addition, they're running the largest human smuggling operation. In my opinion, based on my deep dive into this, it's another deceptive propaganda campaign. Like earlier this year, remember in February, Governor of Mexico hit a very large production lab of fentanyl in Mexico, 630,000 pills. And then President AMLO, like a week later, came out and said they don't manufacture fentanyl in Mexico. There is intelligence, Dan, from the southwest border of the DEA, as mm -hmm. an example, that nothing has been done to slow the flow of the poison. As an example, the price is 25 cents a pill. The purity has gone up. The DEA administrator just put out that seven out of 10 of these pills have potentially lethal dose to kill Americans. The seizures are off the charts on the border, which is the Sinaloa cartel stronghold. Ah. They seized 42 million pills this year already, Dan, Jeez. just by the DEA Phoenix. So... It could be them, because I even read in this report that not only did they put out the death threat, they've actually killed a couple of their low-level dealers who were selling it. What's that about? Well, so, Dan, that's, that's, I am hearing uh, that there is a possibility that they put out a warning to some of the independent fen fentanyl manufacturers to, to stop producing it. Okay. Why they're doing that, I don't know. It might be competition. It might be they want to streamline processes so they could be a little slicker. Well, the Mexican government in September seized 2 million, you know, fake pills in Sinaloa on a truck. So there's no indication that this madness has stopped. You know, the DEA just put out the, the latest stats. 66 million fake pills were Oof. seized by DEA this year alone, Dan. Okay, they had 60 million seized last year. So their production is going crazy. The kids are dying. It's propaganda. They can't be trusted. So we got to keep the pressure on them. And I think the DEA and other law enforcement agencies has stepped up, put a lot more pressure on them with the indictments, with the Treasury actions, okay. with some extraditions like, you know, Chapo's son recently coming in. So there are some positive movements, but we got to destroy their ability to produce this poison, Dan, because they're killing do. our kids at record levels. I mean, yeah, a hundred and some thousand and it just keeps going up and up. I can't imagine. It's, it's gonna, if we don't stop this, it's going to go to two, 300,000 Americans killed by these pills. Derek, I know you're doing your best to raise awareness. I see you everywhere out there, uh, media, social media, engagement with people, trying to get across, especially to parents and to young adults and to teenagers, do not take any pills that aren't prescribed by a doctor. And even I'll go further, watch some of those because Big Pharma could care less if you get addicted too. Derek Maltz, uh, former special director of operations over there at the DEA. As always, man, keep the fight. Thank you for spreading the truth about this. Thank you, Dan. One last thing, border911.com. It's a new program. Tom Holman, CEO. We got Rodney Scott. We have Mark Morgan, Sarah Carter, Jason Jones, and Victor Villa, and myself. And we're going to push out some real facts to the American public about what's going on because it is wide open border. Say that website one more time, Derek. Border911.com. All right, border911.com. Just a hat. Log on, learn more. I just uh, saw Tom again down in Orlando. He gave a great speech at the NFRA convention. We talked a lot about how bad the border is. That man is a true patriot. He said he will come out of retirement if Trump wins and go back to work to shut that damn border down. And I believe Tom will get it done. And Derek, 100%. I know you'll be back in too, helping to shut it down and clean up the drugs. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Dan. God bless you. Thank you, sir.